geometry studies and we usually want to find the trend or the equation to such results in order to estimate the other values. Curve fitting will include discussions of both a linear and polynomial regression. You are watching Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. Curve fitting is defined as the procedure of identifying the best fit equation to a curve with given values which can be suitable in predicting the other desired values later on. In the example of collecting data from the field, say we intend to add a certain material to another conventional structural material such as concrete. The proportions of the new additive will be taken as independent variables as they can stand alone. The strength of the concrete in this example will be totally dependent on the proportion of materials added, thus called dependent variables. If we attempt to plot these values as coordinates, we can somehow arrive at the following graph. It is but natural that data will not actually fall in straight lines, so in this case, we will need to drop a line which can best fit the following points. And just how are we going to do that? We can by means of linear regression. Recall that in your analytic geometry course, you were able to identify the general equation of a line which is y is equal to mx plus b. This will be the format that we would need to model our equation to where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. In numerical solutions, the formula would have to be transformed as f of x is equal to ax plus b where f of x denotes that the value for y is taken in approximation. Also in e statistics, the same formula is converted into f of x is equal to beta naught plus beta sub 1 x, as the subject is fond of using Greek characters. Since the line does not exactly follow the points, it can be observed that there are some errors. These are the discrepancies of distances from the exact values of the points to the approximate values generated by the line. Epsilon, or the error, is added to the equation, and this value should be kept minimized. Epsilon is then categorized into the following depending on which method is used in curve fitting. The first is known as the maximum error with the formula, E sub infinity of f is equal to the maximum discrepancy between the approximate value f of x sub k less the true value y sub k, which can then be interpreted as E infinity is the maximum error taken as the maximum computed distance between f of x sub k or the approximate value with the true value denoted as y sub k. From the graph, it can be identified as the largest distance between the point to the line, and in this case, the last point seems to have the largest discrepancy. Next is the average error, which is denoted as E sub 1. It is computed as the summation of the errors or discrepancies between the actual and approximate values divided by the number of points, thus its name average. The last error measurement is from RMS, or root mean square, written as E sub 2. The formula is similar with the average error, and the only difference is by taking the root of the square of the summation of discrepancies. RMS is the measurement used to derive the formula for least squares, which we will discuss in the later videos. So, just as stated earlier, epsilon should be minimized. The different methods of linear regression to identify the trend of data would start with the graphical method, which is completely non-numerical as it is purely by eyeball estimation in taking the best fit line. 
The numerical methods include method of grouped averages, the method of moments, and the method of least squares.